All right, what's going on, O'Doers? If you're anything like me, you love shopping online. There is really no other rush that compares. Personally, I like to plop down on the couch after a long day of tutorial teaching, kick up my feet, and just scroll through my favorite online stores. You know, just picking up a few essentials along the way. Then, in just a matter of days, those products are delivered to my door. Ah, it's the best. But you know what's the worst? When those products show up later than expected. Or sometimes they don't even show up at all. Frankly, that sucks, and companies shouldn't toy with our emotions like that, especially not mine. Steve already does that. Not only does that negatively affect my shopping experience, it's a great way to lose customers. That's why here at Stealthy Wood, we've done things differently. We always make sure to properly use delivery lead times to avoid those kinds of disasters. Now, for those of you who may not know, a delivery lead time is the number of days to when a customer places an order to when they actually receive the items. Delivery lead times help us schedule precise delivery dates or delivery time frames, just so our customers know exactly when to expect their items. Here, let me just show you a quick example of what I'm talking about. Let's say that we have a delivery lead time of, I don't know, 10 days. With that in place, Odoo will schedule the delivery date to 10 days after the ordered date, and the customer will be instantly informed about all of this. That way, you know, they'll know when to expect their items and not be guessing like I am at times. So if someone confirms an order on the 1st of July, do your math. The customer will be notified that they can expect it on the 11th, 10 days after the order was confirmed. Pretty simple, right? As you can imagine, it's super important to configure the delivery lead time correctly because it directly impacts our customer satisfaction. If we're not careful, we'll get a reputation of late deliveries and our customers will take their business elsewhere. And that, my friends, is no bueno. But if we take advantage of delivery lead time so we can gain a serious edge over our competitors, which is always a top priority. Think about it. If we can always deliver faster or more reliably than our competitors, customers will always come to us because they know they can rely on us to deliver the products on time. So enough chit chat. Let's jump into our database. Okay, as usual, we're going to get things started here on our sales dashboard. Now, when it comes to configuring delivery lead times, it's something we do on an individual products form. So let's jump on up here to products and products, so doers. Okay, we want to pick a product we want to configure a custom delivery time for. How about drawer? <laughs> it's perfect. Then when we're on the desired product form, we'll need to open over here inside of the inventory. And I want to direct your attention down here to customer lead time. Now this field over here in the logistics section is where we'll enter our custom lead time for this specific product. Let's say we want it to take five days to deliver this item. And I want my customer to be aware of that. So we're going to go into here and we're just going to type in the number five. Great. Now it should be noted that by default, the field is set to zero. So be sure to keep that in mind as you configure your products in your database to avoid any delivery lead time confusion, no doers. Okie dokie. Now that we've got a lead time locked and loaded, let's see these things in action. Okay, so let's hop on over to orders and orders, a lot of duplicates, and select new. Perfect. Now for a customer, we're going to add Azure Interior because they are trustworthy. Now let's put our drawer product right there. Perfect. Now let's confirm this because I want to show you something, Odoers. Now up here at the top, we have our order date, which just happens to be today's date, aka the date of the order, which is 10-5. Now, if we open the other info tab and we scroll down over here to the delivery section, delivery date, it's expected 1010. In other words, five days from the order date, just like we configured on the product form a few moments ago. And if we go up to the top and select our delivery smart button up here, boom, it takes us over here to the delivery order, which is filled with the delivery details related to the sales order. Here, we'll see that same lead time information reflected here in the scheduled date over there. Boom, perfect. Doesn't get much easier than that, right, O'Doers? Let's assume we want a little bit more security. Let me show you another neat trick. And guess what, people? We can even add an extra layer of security to our lead times, as I talked about, if you can even believe it. Now, doing so ensures that our staff can avoid any delivery delays for the customer. And that's always a top priority here at Stealthywood. So let me show you how to take care of that real quick. We'll actually need to hop over to our inventory application for a moment. So. I'm going to type it in because I'm lazy today. Perfect. Here we are. All right. Now to do what we actually need to do, we're going to head up to configuration and settings. Now, once that this loads, we got to configure something very special. So we're going to head over to the advanced scheduling section down here. And you guessed it. You see this little box? Check it off. 
Security lead time for sales, oh doers. Now this setting is very special. Now once that I activate it, you'll notice an additional field appears beneath it. In this newly appeared field, I'll enter a specific number of days so that Odoo can schedule deliveries internally a few days earlier than the customer's expected delivery date. That way, in case there are any unforeseen delays or issues, we can still deliver that order on time, if not even earlier. So for this example, let's move forward the expected delivery dates internally by two days. So we're gonna move them, and we just have to type in the two right there. And that's perfect. And remember when adjusting anything on a setting or a settings page, we'll need to click save just to lock these in. So go on and do that. Okay, once that you finish and do that and you're all ready to go, bing, bang, boom, let's hop back over to our sales application because we need to test things out. So let's go out of here and we're gonna jump right back into sales. Now let's go to that recent one that we made for Azure Interior and I want you to do something cool. We're gonna duplicate this real quick. Boom, perfect. Now, once that this is duplicated, let's confirm it again. Now, once again, still the same order date, 10-5. Everything looks pretty cool. But then when we go over to the or other info tab, again, it's 10-10. But that's not where I want to show you the magic here. It's still five days from now. But check this out. Let's go here to the delivery. Ah, I love when these things just line up like that, Odoo, so I could show you that magic. That Odoo magic. Because, as you notice, it says 10.08 for the scheduled day, two days before that expected delivery date, allowing our staff to efficiently manage unexpected delays that may occur. So even if something happens, we'll still be able to get our products to our customers in the expected time, if not sooner. And who doesn't love an early delivery? I know I do. In fact, while I'm at it, how about I deliver the ending of this tutorial earlier than expected, too? Because that's all you need to know, doers, we're done. I just showed you how easy it is to set up delivery lead times with Odoo in just a few minutes. That's all for this video, though. So! Oh, I actually gotta run, doers. It seems my delivery guy is here. Right on time. Alright, I'm gonna see you soon, doers, because he is knocking.